Hello, my name is Mr. Blaze, and today I'm going to show you how to create a spreadsheet using information from the 2006 New York Yankees. And we're going to be figuring out their batting averages today. So first thing I'm going to do is get my information I need. I've already created a Word document with the 2006 Yankees stats listed on here. You can grab any season, any team. I just chose this particular team for no reason. Now I'm just going to open up Microsoft Excel here. First thing I'm going to do is type in the column headers. Column A, row 1. Names. Column B, row 1. At bats. Column C, row 1. We're going to type in hits. My correction here. Hits in column B. And at bats. Apologize. Column D. Batting averages. Now we're just going to type in all the players' names. I'm just going to choose 10 for the sake of the lesson. Double click if the name overlaps into the second column on this line in between the letters that you're in. So I'm just going to finish typing the names in. Now that I finished typing the names, I'm just going to type the hits in column B, which are located right here. Next, I'm going to type in the at-bats, which are located right here. The last step, what we have to do, is we have to tell the computer where to get the information so we can figure out what the batting average is. So, column D, row 2, we're going to type in equals first, and then the computer is going to divide B, column B, divided by column C. And the only thing that will change after that is the row number that you're in. So here will be B2 divided by C2. And that will be 500 batting average, 0.5. And we're just going to continue entering the information. Equals.
Now that we've fin finished entering that information, we're just going to highlight column A, hold the shift key, tab down with the arrow, press the control button, do the same thing over on column D. seem to be having an issue here. Highlighted all the information. Now we're going to go to insert, chart, select column, and you can choose any of the columns that you like. 3D or 2D, I'm going to choose 3D. Now you have your batting averages here, but we want to create a new sheet, so you select Move Chart Location. Select Move Chart. And we want to select as new sheet. You can label your chart. Yankees batting average. Select OK. I'll enlarge the screen so you can see it. Now we have our batting averages. Complete. Thanks for checking out my video and look forward to showing more tutorials down the road. Have a great day.